Enter or import the SPT data within the PData table for each borehole. Select the Strip Log section menu option. Configure the 2D Strip Log Designer to plot the SPT data. Activate the Plot Correlations option and select the PData option based on the SPT track. Select the boreholes to be used within the Section Selection Map tab. Click the Process button and repeat the process for each desired section. These sections are created by interpolating the SPT data between adjacent boreholes. To create 3D sections that are based on a block model, select the P Data Fence option. Activate the Create New Model option. Select the SPT track. Enter the name for the solid or block model to be created. Turn on the Plot Logs option. Select the 3D Strip Log Designer tab and set the P data to the SPT track. Select the P data Fence Selection Map tab. Select the Panel Configuration and press the Process button. At this stage, you can manipulate the 3D cross sections within the Rock Plot 3D window. There's a lot more that can be done with the SPT block model. ISO level animations are a good way to visualize the 3D variability of soil compaction. Voxel model dissections also provide a good tool for viewing the models. For more information about these tools, be sure to check out the Rock Plot 3D help messages.